estamos en Confama Parque Arbí, donde decidimos realizar Fractal 14, que es un espacio para imaginar el futuro. Específicamente en este caso es de una tecnología emergente, que es la biología sintética. Lo que hacemos es introducir el tema, para esto invitamos a Sean Slight, que es un doctor en biología sintética. Study how engineered cells will, how their functions fail over many generations because they're not, engineered functions are not stable. So we might want to try to build more robust uh, synthetic systems. So I was invited by Hernan. Uh, he heard my music, which is uh, synthetic biology themed uh, music. Then he found out that I was also a scientist. What? so that I could help uh, moderate the sessions. Um, so yeah, it was a good, good fit for Fractal this year because the theme was synthetic biology. We can produce cheaper fuels and medicine and uh, maybe some sensors that would detect environmental pollutants uh, in the future do more crazy things like build a, you know, a house out of a seed <laughs> or maybe help us survive outer space, you know, something like that. that synthetic biology can, you know, ha has, can help save the world, not, not just uh, end the world. You know, there's a lot of, a lot more good that can be done with synthetic biology than, than bad, so. The best example right now of synthetic biology is probably the project from UC Berkeley where they made uh, the anti-malaria compound, but to do that uh, it took 10 years and many people working on it. Um, they took uh, you know 10 different genes from different organisms. Él introdujo el tema, hizo unas preguntas. Eh, la gente le hizo preguntas a él hasta que quedara claro el tema. It's really technical. I mean, how do you make people understand what? Yeah, and what they're going to invest in? We've been doing genetic engineering uh, for. 40 years, uh, right? Insulin that diabetics take has been taken, you know, since the 70s, and that, that's just, you know, basic genetic engineering. So now that it's getting more sophisticated with synthetic biology, people want to label it differently. Una vez el tema queda claro, la segunda parte es ficción, es imaginar posibilidades sobre ese tema, qué podría ocurrir en el futuro. Esa parte la hizo Alisa Narin, que es una escritora. Sí, I'd really like to sort of have um, have kind of the character and setting emerge um, from some ideas that you have kind of after hearing about all of the future possibilities um, or maybe even not so future quite present uh, possibilities um, that, that synthetic kind of biology has. I'm an American writer. Uh, I teach creative writing at John Carroll University in Ohio, and I'm the author of the novel Tampa and the short story collection, Unclean Jobs for Women and Girls. I was here primarily as a storyteller to help create a collaborative story. You know, we could think about kind of to get started, um, you know, with, with our main character uh, is, is kind of, is there, a, is there a central problem? You know, is it something that the character wants? Is it something that the character has and doesn't want? Um, is the character in danger? all brought amazing creative ideas after hearing the synthetic biology presentation and we thought of a possible future story um, that could happen if some of the emerging technologies from synthetic biology were to come out into the world and cause a little trouble. <laughs> That's the part I really love is the intersection there because you know, I really love art uh, but it was difficult for me to make a career doing art. Maybe an interesting character is a uh, DIY biologist. Someone that's having trouble with 
a cell that escaped. So he's in jail and they appointed a lawyer. And trade and share ideas and information. Storytelling is almost like a, a virtual reality laboratory. We, te we test out kind of the situation and the human possibilities and the, the characters. Um, that could be involved with technology in the future. So for the moment, he's working in a meat packing plant. Kind of have to modify his body, right, to go out and, and to be in the ice. We have to put on this kind of very heavy coat. The, the most interesting thing that I do, I guess, because science is science and art is art, but then you put the two together and it's, uh, it makes it more exciting.